now we are going to the other end, removing the distal extremity of the spinal cord. This whole central nervous system is also called neuraxis or cerebrospinal axis. The neuraxis includes two parts, the brain, which in Latin is called the encephalon. The second part is the spinal cord or medulla spinalis. Now the encephalon itself has three parts, the cerebrum or the cerebral hemispheres, the cerebellum and the brainstem. We are now going to describe some basic brain parts using some Latin words that may seem difficult. These names came from the primary brain vesicles formed in the embryo in the first five weeks of pregnancy. The cerebrum, in Latin prosencephalon, is itself divided into the tail encephalon, the major mass of the cortex, and the diencephalon which includes all the parts you can see on the screen. We will go over these parts in more detail later on. The brainstem or truncus cerebri is subdivided into three parts. The midbrain is on top or superior, the pons in the middle, and the medulla oblongata is on the bottom or inferior just before the spinal cord proper starts.